Today we're going to be getting into these knotless boho braids with human hair. And this is the hair that we're going to be using for today's video. It is by Y Wigs. It is the double drawn Burmese water wave human braiding hair in 18 inches. And we have four lovely bundles. And I'm starting on um, blow dried hair. Don't mind the crinkles, that's just from the plaits that I had in my hair, but this was a great blowout. Um, and then we're going to start doing our parts. I pre-parted my rows and I have my three-way mirror this time, which was super helpful. Parting is the most tedious part in my opinion. Like I mentioned, I'm using a three-way mirror and also the main bathroom mirror, which is right behind me, so I can see everything going on in the back of my head. I'm going for medium-ish type braid. So I have seven rows total that I just plaited up and then I will start my braiding process. I also like to take some of the jam and put it on the ends of my hair so that when I separate my pieces, the hair kind of sticks together where I need it to. And then I just lay out the pieces that I'm going to use for each braid across my sink. I use between 7 to 10, sometimes 11 pieces per braid. Honestly, it just depends on where I am in my head and how it's going, but I just eyeball to keep them all pretty much the same length or the same width. And this is where we are so far, and then this is what we are going for. So you see our braid with our little pieces of hair that are left out to give you that boho look. Okay, so let's start with our first braid for demonstration. So I'm going to start by taking my edge control stuff. This is the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers that I'm using. And just rub that all in at the base of my part. I know some people like to use the edge control jam when they're parting, but that should be too much product on my scalp. I don't like it, so I go piece by piece and work it into each section. Then I'm going to just start braiding my hair with my normal hair as if I'm just doing a regular three strand plait. After I braid it down a little bit, I'm going to feed in my first piece of hair and I'm going to use whatever strand is up next in my braid to add the longer part of that hair to that piece. And honestly, this was a struggle for me because I was trying to add in the hair underhanded because if you're braiding somebody else's hair, that's normally the way that you would add hair. But I found it easier to add it in overhanded. So depending on how you're braiding, add the hair based on the direction that feels more natural to you instead of trying to stick to a rule. Another thing that I realized maybe like three-fourths way down with my hair was I didn't really have to add in as much hair as I did at the beginning of the braid because my real hair is pretty long. So unless you're leaving a whole bunch of hair out at the beginning of the braid, you don't really need to add as much hair as I'm adding because a lot of those strands weren't even visible by the time I got lower down in the braid because my real hair was covering up the length of that hair. However, here is one piece that we're going to tuck away and leave out so that we can start creating those little flowy pieces for the boho look left out. And so after I take out that piece, I'm going to continue braiding down, adding the hair, pulling out a piece until I get all the way to the end. Also, another thing I want to mention is next time I do this style, I would use longer hair because I think I would also be able to get away with adding less hair as I got to the end of the braid because I kept having to add a lot more hair to get the length that I wanted but I'm not a big you know weave expert so I didn't really know what length I needed so keep that in mind if you're doing this style for the first time and you want really long braids to get longer hair so that you don't have to just keep adding it to get length.
once I got to the end, I just looped it around in a knot around itself, one of the strands from the very end. But I'll show you later on what I started doing because I realized that this wasn't super secure. So I started creating more little bitty knots and I'll show you that later on in the video. But this is what we're looking for, our main braid with all of our little tendril hairs left out in a curly end. And if you look closely, you see these little straight pieces sticking out. That's not my real hair. Those are the ends of the hair that I've added. And you can cut those with scissors. I actually just left them in there because by the time you're finished, you don't really see it. But if it bothers you, feel free to cut them off with scissors at the end. And so this is what I was talking about. I started making smaller knots by just tying it in a regular tie and then doing it again and then looping it around itself and knotting itself until I felt like it was more secure and wasn't going to unravel. And this is how it looks directly after I finished. It's been like three days since I started this, so I'm going to go in and trim the hair to the shape that I want and add some water to it to reactivate the curls and also just some hair cream that I have. Uh, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to use on this hair, so I just used some type of curl leave-in cream that I had and it seemed to do a pretty good job. But the hair itself is super soft and I understand the hype behind the human hair for braiding styles like this. So I'll definitely recommend this hair and using human hair in general when going for the knotless braid boho look. Um, I just really like how it turned out compared to my normal synthetic hair. And this is all the hair that I had left from the four bundles and this is the final look. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!